Okay. Welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for giving uh, giving your time. Uh, today is a uh, fourth day of our online webinar, where this is the second courses of uh, IP uh, IP addresses uh, version four and six. Uh, in previous day, you have uh, completed the uh, IP version four, and today is IP version six. And our research person is Dr. Professor Samsud Jaman Shubhu sir. He is currently working as a professor at Jokali Science and Technology University. Uh, he has uh, uh, lots of ex experience on this topic. So hope you will enjoy today's session. And welcome, uh, Dr. Professor Samsud Jaman Shubhu sir, uh, to start this session today. Thank you. Good afternoon, or good afternoon, all of you, and welcome to, uh, to the welcome to the session. Uh, uh, thank you, Orpita Haladar, and all of the pa panel members of, of this uh, project, uh, webinar course, and also thanks of all, all of you who have uh, joined al already in our webinar course. Uh, now. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, today, uh, course three, IP version four and IP version uh, six, uh, day two. Before going to start uh, the day two lecture, uh, I want to uh, discuss about the last uh, course two uh, assignment, which have uh, we have sent you for your evaluation. Basically, some of them has already completed but some of them face some problem faces some problem so that's why we are thinking about to discuss the uh, assignment uh, based on the campus network design so initial uh, just i want to uh, sh show show the solution uh, of this uh, how can we uh, how can you solve the uh, uh, campus network simple campus network so this is the packet tracer file we have already uh, previously we have sent for your uh for your evaluation and so uh, so if any activity you need to perform you need to carefully study this instruction basically this is the address table and this address table i think we have already familiar with our previous course ip version 4 uh, thus we have finished class full address and so initially first task is to dns server configuration so here ip uh, ip address basically dns server ip address so you need to go to the configuration and first as uh, IP configuration, you need to give, uh, give the IP address. This is the server address, and this is also the, uh, the uh, DNS server. And this will be the one is the default gateway. So we need to give here the subnet mask. So we have already familiar with this IP, IP version four address and subnet mask. So this uh, since 103 and we uh, declare in our address table, you can see that this is a slash 24 node as uh, basically uh, the IP version 103 is a slash 20, 29 notation. So subnet mask should be this one. How can you calculate this one? Because this is uh, slash 29. That means uh, three, three, we remaining three bits. That means we need to one, two, four. We need to um, subtract from 255 minus one to four that means uh, four to six seven then we can calculate it the subnet pass uh, 255 255 255 dot 248 okay so uh i have uh, the, uh, this one the ip uh, ip address i have just configured so next instruction is that oh sorry and the ip address should be this one okay so i need to go to the uh, on the service because there are two type of service uh, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, explore basically http service this http service already on you need to on the dhcp service that's the instruction here so a dns server is now completed now you need to configure the s router so s router ethernet first ethernet zero zero port uh, basically, you need to enable it first. Basically, enable it first. So I need to go to the configure, then fast Ethernet, then enable. I need to uh, configure the address. 
this is the first address. Uh, this is the configuration uh, uh, core address. And also I just put the uh, subnet mask. So you can see it the router configuration if when I uh, place this subnet mask using graphical user interface. So you can uh, see the configuration. We can also configure this router by using the command from uh, enable and after the configure terminal and then the IP address, uh, IP address with subnet mask. Okay, so first uh, interface first Ethernet 00 has completed. Now we need to configure the first Ethernet 404. So here you can see the first Ethernet port 1, 10.28.1.1 with subnet mask uh, slash 24. That's why 255.255.255. So our interface Ethernet has uh, completed the uh, con configuration completed. Uh, so again, the uh, next task is a DHCP configuration. So we need to go to the router and also router and we ne I need to go to the command prompt. Uh, basically DHCP configuration, I need to uh, uh, exit from this configure terminal, uh, so configure interface terminal. So I need to go to here. So if I want to DHCP configure uh, in this router, so I need to use this command IP DHCP. You, if you press tab, then DHCP will come and IP DHCP, then pool, pool and the name of this uh, DHCP is save. Okay, so this is the com completed the DHCP, so name as save. Now need to put the network tab, network, if you uh, NET, then you, if, uh, you press tab, then automatically uh, find out the key network. Then I just put the network address, just copy it um, uh, from here. So that then, it, then one is space, and then I need to put the subnet mask. So I need to paste it. This is the DSCP configuration 10.28.1.0, uh, 10 then I need to configure the default router. Basically, uh, uh, the default router should be 10.28.1.1. So already mentioned in your activity, uh, uh, basically the DHCP server 10.28.1.1. Okay. Uh, default router, then I need to configure the DNS server tab. DNS server IP is basically uh, we have configured this IP. Ulpita, can you see anyone have any question or any uh, anything they have uh, don't uh, understand? Okay, so this is the uh, DNS server configuration. Then I need to exit. Okay, now this DCP uh, server configuration has finished. So I need to exclude some address which I have already mentioned. Uh, basically, the network address I need to exclude from the DCP panel and the broadcast uh, that means the broadcast address that is my last address of this block so uh, in this uh, ip dacp uh, basically ip dacp exclude exclude address which address i need to exclude 10 dot 28 dot basically the exclude address 10 dot 28 dot 1 dot 1 so I need to, this is the first address or the network address of this uh, DCP block. So I need to exclude also the last address of this block. Okay, DCP exclude completed. Now you can exit. So DCP has completed. So I need, I, I need to go to the, uh, this panel, sorry. So the next task is to cabling. That means connect to a physical device, you need to directly follow this instruction. Without this instruction, if you don't follow this instruction, uh, because uh, there is a restriction that you could not delete the cabling. So is that a fast Ethernet 00 port to DNS server fast Ethernet via crossover cable? Because uh, uh, via crossover cable, DNS server and is that should be connected. So I need to select the, uh, basically the, Fast Ethernet uh, uh, cross cable, cross cable. Then I need to click S router, basically S router, fast Ethernet uh, 00 port to DNS server, fast Ethernet. Okay. 
then is router first ethernet 40 port st is first ethernet 40 port to network switch first ethernet 41 port through the optical fiber cable so i need to select this optical fiber cable is router i think the four and also the optical fiber port is router 41 so in that case you can check the activities how much percentage i am uh, i have just completed so 68 percent already completed and you can also check the check result which don't not yet completed so you can check here from which has not yet completed okay uh, sir, there is some issues. Uh, yes. Some of one asking that they are they can't hear properly. They cannot hear. But sir, I think I am clear. But uh, what's the problem? I don't know. And uh, what type of so is, uh, is there any problem? Sound clear, I sir. Think... Okay, Abu Hanif, no problem. But sound okay. clear. Now, since our sir, sound is clear. Dynamic, dynamic way routing someone question okay so i uh, basically uh, we don't have any by uh, routing protocol we don't have configured the, uh, here okay we just dhcp server configured and just uh, access this uh, pc to how can you connect this one there is no any protocol we have configured and we don't uh, uh, here no instruction has to configure the uh, protocol uh, static or dynamic routing okay so so D uh, dhcp configured so um, Okay, then I have already uh, connected this one. So, is router from uh, 40 port to network source by optical cable? Then, uh, why this problem? Okay. And network switch fast Ethernet port to wireless router. I think this, this is the state cable. Uh, Nature can have fast Ethernet to Internet port. Okay. And so via state cable and network switch fast Ethernet port to desktop PC for state cable. Fast Ethernet one to the desktop PC. Okay. So the cabling is now uh, I think completed. So I am not sure why this one the okay. I think there is an issue that is there any issue about the on okay one issue is that uh, i have forgotten to uh, put status on so that's why they are this one they are uh, the uh, light uh, uh, here is the red light okay do you understand or not is there if any con in, uh, in the configuration is there any problem if you not uh, enable the port status then their red uh, red light will uh, you can see you can see the red light but if you enable this port or then you can see the green light now okay i think Okay, should be okay because. Okay, so now I think how much completed you can check 84% completed so some rest of the uh, uh, I think the task uh, we are we can now uh, we can complete. Uh, this is our list data now we need to configure SSID we need to we need to go to this one. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, basically the configuration. So I think I need to configure the wireless. This name should be safe. We need to uh, authentication WPA, PSK, password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and encryption type AES. So I think the configuration is okay now. So now in, you can configure this one, the lap, uh, uh, okay. So before going to the laptop configuration, so we can check this uh, PC, uh, is there any, uh, Fast Ethernet got any IP or not because we have already configured the DSCP. So in that case, you need to go to the PC and desktop configuration. You need to enable that DSCP. Okay, so you can uh, check. Uh, you can see that the IP address now the desktop PC IP address is now 10.28.1.3 uh, and subnet must this one default gateway and DNS server. It, I think the configuration okay. Similarly, you can take this uh, router. Uh, you can configure. Okay, I think the uh, internet. So DHCP, you can check the one dot two. Okay, we got it. Uh, this uh, IP address got it from the DHCP server. We have configured previously. 
So now we can connect this uh, uh, laptop. We need to remove this one. Sorry. We need to remove this one. We need, we can add the WLAN. Then we can again on and desktop. You can kind of go to the PC wireless. Uh, then you can see connect option. Is there any uh, SSID is uh, showing or not? So this is the safe SSID. I can I, uh, connect and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So you can go to the okay connect. I think laptop is now connected. You can see laptop now connected. So uh, from browser, you can check this one. I think uh, before that, you can we can check our activity, how much we have completed. So you can check that 100% now completed. So you have successfully, we have successfully configured all the assessment items. So you can check here, is there any assessment is uh, a problem or not? So if any problem, then not 100% issue. So I think all items, uh, assessment items we have completed. So just for checking purpose, I just uh, show. So if you go to the uh, here and you can from browser or pink, any kind of uh, tools you can use. I think one zero three, okay. So we can access this server or DNS. HTTP, we can uh, Okay, I need to check the packet from here to here. I, uh, SCMP successful. Uh, then again, from here, server to here, I think successful communication. Uh, I think the router to here, we can also check router to here. This is successful communication. So let's go to the desktop PC and the web browser. Orpita, can you check is there what type of question about, uh, is the question is related to this uh, assignment? Yes, sir. Wow. So there's a question that after the DHCP pull command, we can yes. now see that the PC got its IP automatically. Yes. Is this considered dynamic routing or not? Or it is still static routing? Okay, so I think let's go to the... Okay. Okay, so you can check here the router, what type of routing table here, uh, basically show IP route, uh, we can use this command and here you can see that directly connected, directly connected and both are directly connected. Here no other, that means there are uh, uh, 10.0.0. is subnetted, one subnet and 10.28.1.0 is directly connected to fast ethernet and uh, 103.1.0.0 uh, is directly connected to fast ethernet 00. zero. So C means directly connected, S means static, tick, static, I, I, G, R, P, R, I, I, P. So this kind of information will show if we can, if we will configure any router, any protocol or any other issue, then you can check by using this command. So is it clear now? So here the uh, uh, host just taking the IP from router from using the DHCP protocol, dynamic host configuration protocol by automatically. You can assign it the host manually. Okay, there is uh, no routing sir. or other issue. Sir, okay. please uh, remove your uh, desktop PC panel because uh, they are not seeing anything. This one. PC panel means? Uh, sir, uh, uh, desktop PC means, uh, sir, your uh, PC configuration is open. They can't see the configuration or anything else. So Hello. what window is open? PC window is open. 
sir I need to open the presentation slide actually i have not yet uh, we started the presentation okay oh, okay so, no, sir, it's not about presentation sir it's uh, any pc configuration panel but we if they can see the pc router this connection window only uh, but i am moving my uh, pe uh, packet tracer in different window so i am not uh, can you uh, give a screenshot in is it now moved already okay so this is the uh, basic graphical user interface of this assignment is it uh, you can uh, see now orpita sub group so can you okay sir i send you a uh, screenshot so but my screen has not show any any suspend of issue i think sir you should stop your share and again uh, restart your uh, sharing of uh, screen sharing okay can you see you can see now sir it's hang your cursor is not moving now so it's now? okay Okay, okay, sir. Now it's okay. sorry. I think there is some issue. Okay, so do you understand or not? So, is there anything issue? Configuration time is still not black screen. Sir, they okay. didn't show the routing configuration. Then, okay, uh, let's go to the command prompt. And the command prompt you can just if uh, someone asks you the what type of routing is used here. So you can see I am using the show IP route, IP route command. So you can see the gateway of last, uh, that means the routing table here in this router, C, that means C connected, C 10.28.1.0 is directly connected to fast Ethernet. And C 10.103.1.0 is directly connected to fast Ethernet 00 and fast Ethernet 40. There is no uh, others connection. Okay, so C means connected, directly connected. So there is no stat if there is any routing table, then you can see the static or IGRP or RIP or BGP. So if we uh, configure this routing protocol, okay, is it clear now? So this assignment has, has no such kind of route, uh, routing protocol uh, you, uh, you need, need to use. Okay, is there any issue? Okay. Is there anyone uh, have any issue? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. So this is the just simple basic configuration of the assignment. Uh, we have given you uh, in uh, your uh, course to uh, course to uh, uh, assignment for campus network design. Okay. is connected uh, uh, olpita can you hear me yes sir actually sorry about internet uh, so we can't some... uh, see anything okay yeah my internet has some problem was caused a problem okay so this uh, i think uh, 
I think uh, I, I have just discussed a short brief about the campus uh, uh, previous assignment. So if you have any any more question, you can just write down the question answer box. Now now I am going to the lecture rest of the lecture of IP version four and IP version six. Okay. 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 So uh, previous day I have already discussed about the some uh, background about the addressing IP version four address about the class uh, uh, the classification address space IP address notation logical some logical operation also some uh, 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 discussion about the class school address address like classes level of addressing sub network. So now today we uh, I will discuss about the classless address in details and also some special address and also the IP version some brief about the IP version four address. Okay, so this this was the, our campus network previously. So uh, in classful addressing, basically uh, three types of subnet uh, is available. <laughs> Subnet, default mask, and supernet mask. All are subnet mask. Okay. So basically, default mask, uh, default mask based on the class. That means is it class A, B, or C? N equal to twenty. Uh, basically, the class class C for class C N equal to twenty four by default. Class C for N equal to twenty four. That means net ID twenty four and host ID eight bit. We have already know our uh, from our previous discussion. And for subnet mask, if you want to divide your network in eight yeah. eight sub blocks that means one uh, class of uh, one block of class class c you want to divide your network in eight sub blocks then sorry uh, then someone knows then your uh, subnet mask will will be uh, 24 plus 3 why 24 plus 3 because eight sub blocks that means 2 to the power 3 that's why uh, the, uh, 888 plus 3, 3, 1, 3, uh, 3 bit will be taken, and total in subnet mask would be 24 plus 3 equal to 27. But default mask 24. But if we want to combine 8, uh, if any ISP provider uh, need more class C uh, host, class C, uh, that means if uh, ISP provider has more than uh, 256 uh, or more than two, uh, 500 or 1000, uh, I think the host, then he needs to combine, uh, uh, that means eight sub, uh, blocks to one one block, that is called the sub uh, uh, super net block, super block. So in that case, the super will be, so uh, sub net, uh, uh, I think the super net mask would be 24 minus three, that means 21. So this is, this was the basic, uh, uh, comparison between the subnet default and supernet supernet mask in the class for the classful addressing in class C block. So this is for C block. Uh, similarly, we can uh, calculate the class B also the class A. Okay. So the, this is the uh, just about the classful addressing. Now, I think that this is uh, I have uh, this is the finish. Uh, I have just finished the classful addressing. So. Now let's go to the classless addressing. Uh, why we are using the classless addressing? Uh, Basically, excuse me, sir. Uh, sir, apne, uh, please uh, could you explain the previous slide again? Uh, because some student asked these questions. Uh, okay. So, supernet default mask, subnet mask. Please uh, okay. go slowly. Okay. So, previously, we, I have already uh, discussed uh, that in class A, B, or C, all three classes have the default mask. I have uh, in uh, you can see in previous uh, previous uh, day one slide. Uh, this is the default, okay, and standard uh, uh, for uh, class A eight bit, class B uh, sixteen bit, class C twenty four bit. Okay, so if a, an ISP provider want to uh, take a block uh, from class C, and now he wants to subdivide his uh, one block to eight sub blocks. In that case, what will be the subnet mask? Because subnet mask we need to divide. Previously, I 
I think uh, uh, previously I showed that uh, one IP address total block, I have divided four, uh, uh, four subnets. Okay, so here subnet must, I, uh, eight sub blocks. I want to here for class C, I want to divide the eight sub blocks. In that case, what will be the subnet mask? Subnet mask would be the, uh, uh, basically the default mask plus, plus three. So what, why these three? Uh, so uh, here is a by equation, I think. I'm not sure I put this equation or not. Okay, so here uh, basically the equation would be n subnet equal to n plus log to s. So I just miss the equation n subnet equal to n subnet sorry equal to n plus log to s. Okay. So in that case, you can find it. So n subnet, that means the default mask is 24. Now I want to uh, divide this, uh, this block to eight sub blocks. So S will be eight. So n plus log to eight. So log to eight means two, uh, two to the power three. three uh, if uh, a three is come to the base, then log two to one. That means n plus three. That's why 24 plus three. Okay, is it clear or not? This is the, sub network mask sub net mask means sub network mask based on the default mask so similarly super net mask would be the uh, n plus log to s okay so uh, and super net mask is n minus log to s so that's n minus log to s that means 24 minus log to h so since i want to combine the eight sub block into one super block that's why 24 minus 3 equal to 21. That's why super net, net mask will be the, uh, will be the 21. So is it clear or not? Okay. Actually, n is the length of the net ID. Here, n is the length of the length, net ID, and n subnet is the length of the s subnet or net ID, and s is the number of subnets which must be power up to. So it uh, it's a restriction that if you want to divide your networks in subnet sub sub network, then it must be power up to. So is it clear or not? Actually, when does we need super netting? Uh, I suppose a ISP provider uh, in class C, uh, you can give maximum one block 256 host. But if, you're, uh, if you, if you uh, need one zero, uh, 1024 host, in that case, you need, to, uh, 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 you need to use the super net block. Okay, so you need to combine four sub block, uh, that means the by four uh, class C block into one uh, super net block. Is it clear or not? Clear or not? So basically this was need when you want to uh, take a IP blo a block from any uh, ISP provider or you, if you uh, want to uh, do business, in that case, this type of uh, uh, operation you need to perform or this kind of subnet mask or super net mask you need to use. Basically, uh, for, this is for class full addressing. But if we want to go to uh, next uh, discussion, the class less addressing. So I think this uh, this should be more clear because now we are using the uh, class less addressing. Okay, I think uh, it's clear. We can take the CRD notation from before mark. Yes, we will. This I will discuss the CRD notation and other issue in next uh, slide. Okay, so. So, uh, so, so subnetting and supernetting in classful addressing basically did not really solve the address depletion problem. There is some problem. There is combination or uh, uh, there is some uh, combined issue or subnetwork issue and some address wastes or need more. There's this type of issue faces in class uh, classful addressing. That's why with the growth of the internet, it is it was clear that a larger address space was needed as a long term solution. That is IP version six. But for short term solution. The researcher has uh, 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 researcher in, uh, researcher had, uh, has used another type of uh, IP, version, IP version four structure that is for classless architect uh, addressing, which is started from 1996 for short term solution about the su subnetting and supernetting this type of problem and also the uh, uh, the uh, in, uh, we are 
and also the because of the increasing and increasing the network and networking components or devices that's why using the classless addressing for the short term solution this is not the proper solution for proper solution the uh, researcher has introduced the ip version 6 so classless addressing and okay and for classless addressing basically uh, okay sorry uh, classless addressing so main issue is the all classes are variable length blocks so there is no class a b c this type of issue or who is Okay, I, I think Tim might do you hear me because the electricity has gone my house. Tim, yes, sir, we can hear you. Yes. Okay, okay. I have already started my hot uh, hotspot. Electricity has gone. Okay, so variable length blocks basically all 0, 0, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5. That means 0, 0, 2, all 30 bit one. These all are using is all are now blocked. Now there is no class A, class B, or class C issue. Okay, so that's why it is called the classless addressing. Basically, in classless addressing, the whole address space is divided into a variable length blocks, whole space. That means block one to block n. And in that case, theoretically, the block of two to the power zero to two to the power thirty total. Uh, this type of block will get from the classless addressing. This is for uh, uh, classless addressing, but only one restriction is that number of address in a block needs to be power of two so this is the you should be remembered when you want to take any uh, uh, ip block or any uh, ip address uh, from a isp provider that, uh, that the number of address in a block needs to be power of two so suppose if you need uh, 200 ip uh, 200 host uh, you, you want to connect 200 uh, host okay so in that case you could not take 200 uh, host directly you need to take 256 host basically 2 to the power, uh, power. you uh, always you, you need to uh, take a block about uh, the total address space would be 2 to the power power that uh, it's a important issue for classless uh, addressing uh, okay so i think uh, the, uh, this is the issue for classless addressing so next issue is that classless addressing basically uh, we have already discussed that uh, in classful addressing, two type of ad, uh, uh, lab, uh, two, two level addressing. One was uh, net ID, another was the host ID. But in class classless addressing, just prefix and suffix. Prefix is replaced by uh, net ID. Suffix is replaced by host ID. Here prefix would be n bits and suffix would be 32 minus n bits. So in that case, uh, uh, in classless addressing, basically uh, the prefix defines the network ID and suffix defines the host. All address in the block have the same prefix. S yes, address has a defined suffix, but prefix length in classless addressing can be one to 32 bit because a one to 32 bit. And for here is some golden rules. You can follow these golden rules. Basically all host on the same level to network must share the same prefix. I have already told that all address in the block have the same prefix. Uh, in one block have the same prefix, but S yes, address has a different suffix. That means host ID will be different, but uh, network ID would be same for all host and all host with the same prefix have different host part and host part all zeros and all ones are reserved. So even it should be, uh, 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 you should be, uh, when you have taken a, a block of IP address, yeah, you must, you, you should careful about that host part of all zeros and all ones are reserved for uh, reserve, reserve address. You could not configure in uh, packet tracer also. Suppose you want to uh, give a one IP address in uh, uh, in previous block 10.32.22.1. You could not assign it in your uh, any host because uh, first address would be the network address and last address would be the broadcast address for future use. Okay, and prefix calculation. How can we calculate the prefix? I think sir, uh, there is question. Block of two address mean. Yes, sir. Okay. Block of uh, we know that when I'm okay. So 
thus as may use one, two, three, and so on. Okay. So prefix calculation, how can you calculate the prefix and suffix? Basically, this is uh, one address, 192.0.2.1.8. Here, prefix length, basically, uh, I will show you the slash notation. Uh, so if you if you uh, give any your, uh, of your IP address, then it must be a slash not notation. Okay, so by using this slash notation, suppose uh, 192.0.2.128, here's uh, prefix length would be the slash 27. That means first 27 bits are fixed. Last, uh, I think the five bits would be used for host address. Okay, so in that case, the lowest address should be this uh, 27 would be fixed and this one should be zero and highest address should be all bits should be ones. So this is the lowest address and this is the highest address and this is the prefix length. So we'll know uh, about the details about the prefix and suffix by using any uh, block when we take a block and also the uh, uh, divided into sub networks, then we can see. Okay. So for classless addressing, you must use slash notation. Okay, you must use the slash notation. Uh, basically, uh, slash notation in classless, uh, classful addressing, the net ID is inherent in the address. Basically, for class A, class B, class C, we know the uh, uh, n, n, uh, n value. Uh, that means class A, 8, class B, 16, class C, uh, 20, uh, 24. But in classless addressing, you must give the slash n notation. That means in classful addressing, classless addressing prefix length cannot be found if we are given only an address in the block. Suppose if anyone give you 10.28.0.0 and without slash notation, you could not understand which block is. Uh, 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 that means without uh, uh, without the slash notation, they are, that means uh, given only one address in the block, the given address can belong to a block with any prefix length. Okay, so in that case, first byte, second byte, third byte, fourth byte, then slash notation, n is the prefix length. So it must be when you take any uh, uh, any IP, at IP block from uh, your ISP, so they will give, uh, they will must give you the prefix length. Okay, in classless addressing, we need to know one of the address in the block, prefix length to define the block. So uh, this is that, uh, uh, this is that, uh, uh, I think the, uh, important thing, the, in classless addressing, we need to know one of the address. You can just know the one of the address in the block and prefix length to define the block. Then you can calculate the uh, first address, last address, and the, uh, uh, yeah, I think the how many address, uh, how many hosts you can be connected in that block. So we'll see some example about this. Then I think it should, it will be clear to you. Uh, basically, uh, this slash notation, is formally referred to as classless interdomain routing or CIDR notation. This is called the CIDR notation. That means the classless interdomain routing notation. So, and for classless addressing, there is a one issue, network mask or subnet mask. Previously, we have uh, already discussed about the subnet super, uh, uh, the sub, uh, uh, default mask, sub, uh, subnet mask and supernet mask. But in classless addressing, network mask or subnet mask is the thing. Basically, the classless addressing as the same as the classful addressing, so networking mask activity. Uh, network mask is a 32-bit number. A network mask is a 30 uh, 32-bit number with the n leftmost n that means leftmost bit all set to ones, and the rest of the bits all set to zero. Okay, so you can see that. The network address 10.28.0.0 slash 29. Here n slash notation n means 29. So network mask or subnet mask, that means uh, this uh, 29, that means only we can change only three bits. Okay, so in that case, 8 bit plus 8 bit plus 8 bit, uh, uh, 24 bit, 25, 6, 7, 8, sorry, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So these, these all are one. So in that case, 32 minus 29 equal to three. That means here, how many hosts we can connect? Two to the power three. That means two to the power three. That means total host we can connect this block uh, is uh, eight. Okay, so this is the basically the network mask or subnet mask. So by from uh, slash notation, we can calculate easily, but 
for classful addressing we need to know the how how many class a uh, uh, default path how many class b and how many class c but in that case network mask you just can calculate easily from the slash notation so now we can see some example actually the in the address at uh, 12.23.24.78 plus slash n so what will be the network mask i think can can you say anyone i already solved here the network since h slash n is h the network mask is 255 dot zero dot zero dot zero and the mask has eight ones and 24 zeros the prefix length is eight the suffix length is 24 in that case what will be the uh, uh, i think the uh, uh, host that means slash eight that means uh, 24 that means n minus 32 it would be uh, host bit that means 20 uh, 32 minus 8 to uh, 24 so total host will be 2 to the power uh, 24 so similarly uh, slash 16 we can uh, the network mask is this one because 16 bit is one and mask has 16 ones and 16 zero prefix length is 60 suffix length is uh, 16 okay and in that case the uh, uh, one this this network uh, the network mask is 2 to 4 can you say anyone why Two to seven, seven equal to two to four. In that case, you can use the uh, binary. Uh, that means the uh, binary binary to decimal notation. Basically, here uh, twenty seven to thirty two. That means three to five. Five bit. Five bit should be same. That means twenty seven bit is one. The mask has twenty seven ones and five zeros. So you can just add the uh, left. That means such a one twenty eight plus sixty four uh, plus uh 32 then wh what then total sum will be 2 to 4 is it clear or not or is there any question or any question or can you hear me faisal no sir no issue will question in here okay so yes, sir, no clear question now? clear now classless addressing ja, how can you uh, extract the uh, how can you understand the uh, from a IP address, what will be the mask and what will be the prefix length and what will be the suffix length. Okay. So, so the, uh, this step you should remember. Uh, basically, in CID notation, contains all information we need about the block. Okay. So, if I give you the uh, a, uh, a, a single address, then you can calculate uh, you, uh, with slash notation, then you can calculate the total number of address the that means the sorry uh, the first address or network address of this of, uh, of this ip address block the number of address in this block and the last address of this block so there are some three steps you need to follow so three steps you need to follow the number of address in the block can be found using this equation to uh, n equal to 2 to the power 32 minus 10 where n is the prefix length so slash n is the prefix length and capital n is the number of address in the block okay so n equal to 2 to the power 32 minus 1 the first address or network address in the block can be found by using the end operation so we know about the end operation first address equal to the given address ending operation with network mask okay and operation with the network mask so we can uh, use this end operation we can calculate the first address of this block and alternatively, we can also use another method, n leftmost bits of any address in the block, keep n leftmost bits of any address of the block and set 32 minus n bits to zero to find the first address. This is another way. And also for calculating the last address of the uh, block, we can calculate the last address equal to any address using the OR operation and network marks should be complement. Then we can use the OR operation and we can calculate this last address of the block or we can keep the n leftmost bits of any address in the block and set 32 minus n bits to one to find the last address this is simple uh, this is three step to ex <coughs> extract first address number of address and the last address of the of any uh, from any ip address okay so we can now uh, uh, we can do a example so this is the example, basically one of the address in the block, 
14 slash 20 here n equal to 20 so you need to find out the number of address in this block first address in this block last address in this block so this is just uh, just one address from any block okay but ISP provider has given you this block. So how many address in this block? What will be the first address and what will be the last address in this block? So how can you calculate? Uh, basically, uh, slash 20 means the network mark is 2255.255.240.0. Is it clear or not? How can you calculate? Basically, 16 bit uh, and 20 bit is one. That means uh, uh, 20 bit is one. That means uh, one. Uh, 128 plus 64 uh, uh, 64 plus 32 plus 16 you can sum up total will be 240 240 okay because uh, to, uh, here bit is uh, six, uh, 16 bit after that 4 bit is one then rest of the uh, sorry 16 bit plus uh, 4 bit is one then 4 bit zero after that another 8 bit is zero zero because slash notation is 20. So in that case, network mask is 255.255.25240.0. Is it clear or not? So if clear, then you can easily calculate the number of address in the network is 2 to the power 32 minus n, n equal to 20. So total 4096 address in this block, in this IP address block. But what will be the first address in this IP block? In that case, the address is given address is 11023. 120.40 and the network mass we have already uh, uh, calculated the network mass by using the class name notation 255.255.240.0 so we need to calculate the ending operation we need to perform the logical operation ending operation so if uh, i think you have remember already that if for end operation we can take the smaller number to if 255 or 0 we can take only the smaller number first octet third, second octet and Fourth octet. So in that case, 110, 23, and 0. And 120 and 240, we need to uh, uh, we need to break the units by using 2 to the power power. In that case, what will be the uh, summation? That means 64 plus 16 plus, uh, sorry, 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus. This way, you need to calculate. And you can, in that, uh, what will be the cal calculation result? 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Which number uh, we, I, we, we can take by for sum up 112. So you can just break down this 120 and 240. Then you, uh, you can use just uh, and operation. In that case, I think uh, what will be the value? I think 64 and 32. And also 16. I think you can just uh, common common number is 64, 32, and 16. These three number. So these three number you can just sum up. Then you will get the 112. Okay, is it clear or not? I think Orpita, is there any issue? Okay. No sir, no problem. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so to find out this is the first address 110 23.112.0. So this would be the first address or network address of this block. So to find the last address, we apply the fast shortcut method. Uh, but that means the one uh, first byte, second byte, and third byte, and also this network mass we need to complement that means uh, 0 255 complement 0 255 complement 0 and 240 complement 15 we need to subtract from 255 minus 240 then we will get 15 in this case you need to or operation so if you uh, perform the or operation so we need to take the large number we have already taken the large number and here 120 we need to break down and 15 we need to break down in that case, you need to sum up uh, which number? I think the 64, 32, and, and another number we need to sum up. Then you will get the 127. So in this way, we can just calculate the last address of this block. So this way, you can extract the information 
uh, you can uh, find uh, uh, calculate the first and uh, first uh, first number of the address that means first address of the block last address of this block and also the number of address in this block uh, you can calculate by using this uh, uh, three three step by following this three step so is it clear or not is there any issue okay last address not clear okay so i think you have already performed the or operation i uh, 120 zero if you calculate this 120 zero by using two to the power power not notion i think the uh sorry okay okay so 120 i think uh 120 means uh, we need to uh, if we uh, break down 120 that means 64 64 plus uh 32 uh, 64 plus 32 i think the 96 jo, uh, plus uh 16 so 112 okay and so 112 plus 8 okay so this is this is for breakdown 120 is it 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 and for 15 how can we break down i think uh, one uh, uh, i i think the 8 4 2 1 8 4 2 1 so in that case you can just 8 4 2 1 you can just uh, uh, adding adding this one 64 dot 32 dot 16 dot 4 8 dot 4 plus 2 plus 1 so how much total value so 127 is it clear 64 dot 32 dot 16 plus 8 uh, plus sorry plus uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 so this is the or operation or operation means if 111 one, 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 only 001 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so in that case we will get this number so 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 so total would be 127 so this this would be the third octic result so in that case we will calculate this 11023.127.255 is it clear or not okay yes uh, here total address will be 4094 but you could not use the first address that means network address and last address so your usable address is 40 sorry uh, 40 yes 4094 two address would be one is the network address and another will be used for broadcast address or last address uh, you could not configure in packet tracer you uh, you can try it to uh, use the last address then you could uh, it packet tracer will say you that invalid address okay i think i can go to next slide is there any question orpita no sir not yet okay so this is another issue block allocation how can you uh, get the block from uh, uh, if you want to do a business uh, for uh, you want to business in our internet so how can you get the block basically the ultimate responsibility of block allocation is given to a global authority called ican it, we will see the details about the different kinds of organization just a brief but cid cidr notation there, there are three restrictions if you want to take any block from any isp provider you must follow these three rules that means the number of requested address n needs to be power of two so you need to take that means two to the power power of two needs to be power of two that means this is needed to provide an integer value of prefix length that means one two four eight six 16 this type of value you need to, to take that means total address the number of address can be one two four eight sixteen this way two to the power sum and secondly the value of prefix length can be found from the number of address in the block since n equal to 2 to the power 32 minus n then we we need to just the log operation then in n equal to log 2 2 to the power 32 divide, div, uh, divided by cap, by capital n so in that case 32 minus log 2 n this is the uh, main issue so how can you calculate the subnet id or sorry prefix length n equal to 32 minus log 2 n where n is the needs to be power of 2 how can you get this uh, uh, n uh, that means the log log 2 n 
to uh, log to n this uh, that is the reason why i need to be power of 2 because 32 minus log 2n so if not power of 2 then we could not perform there is a then there is a fraction okay so this mathematics uh, formula you need to follow so first formula is that you need to be power of 2 total address secondly n equal to 32 minus log 2n uh, uh, this formula you can calculate the prefix length by using this formula formula and another issue is that the requested block needs to be allocated where there are contiguous number of unallocated spaces. That means continuous address address space unallocated uh, must be unallocated. However, there is a restriction. Uh, that means the beginning address of the block. The beginning address needs to be divisible by number of address in the block. This is another issue. Okay, so to, uh, we need to check also this the uh, beginning address must be divisible by total number of address uh, of this block. So these three rules you need to follow for taking any block if you want to do a business for as a ISP provider. Okay, so in that case, so how uh, there are some uh, uh, institution who is responsible for giving this uh, IP address uh, in the world, basically ICNN, ICNN, and this yana iana then global coordination okay so here uh, <clears throat> yana that means internet assigned numbers authority rir regional Inter uh, internet registry authority then national internet internet registry authority local internal registry authority and hierarchical address allocation that means ina then rir then lir or isp then end user we we just uh, got this ip address by using this hierarchical address allocation okay so in bangladesh we are basically related to apnic that means asia asia pacific region so in uh, uh, btcl or any other isp provider if they want to buy a block so we need to go to the apnic okay so this is the internet address allocation some authority who is responsible for giving the ip address you you can cannot uh, create any IP address or any issue. You, need, you must uh, go to this uh, institution to take any IP address or any block of address. So is it clear now? Just a brief for uh, actually in our global IP, uh, I previous class I have already uh, uh, searching from my Google that what is my real IP. This type of IP, if you want to take, you need to go to this various institution uh, for taking any block or any IP address. This is, uh, I think it's, uh, is it clear or not? Okay, so this is the brief. So you need to uh, know it. So <clears throat> a problem is that uh, we can just uh, solve a problem and an internet service provider has requested a block of 1000 address. Okay, can you, uh, uh, I think, has requested a block of 1000 address. Suppose the ISP provider, uh, he wants to give internet address, but uh, he has 1000 hosts. So what will be the about his information? What type of block he can apply in any institution who has given him the IP address? Okay, so in that case, the first uh, rules he needs to maintain that's since 1000 is not a power of 2, so 1024 address are granted. So near about 1000, which is 2 to the power power, that means 1024 address, 1024 uh, address are granted. That means 1024 means 2 to the power 10. So he should uh, take 1024 address for 1000 user. This is the first issue. Secondly, the prefix length for the block is you need to calculate it. That means in the in this block, the prefix length should be n equal to 32 minus log to n total number of address. So the prefix length we can calculate by using previous uh, equation equal to 2, 2 to the power 10, 10 will be base, then log 2, log 2, 1, then 10, 32 minus 10, then prefix length uh, will be calculated 22. So is it clear or not? And the beginning address, you can choose different kinds of beginning address, but must be follow the three rules. <clears throat> that means beginning address you can choose 
uh, 18.14.12.0, which is divisible by 1024. What do you mean by 124? That means if I have taken this address, then the granted block is 18.14.12.0 slash 28. So this is the first address and total 1024. Then that means how many block? <clears throat> then um, that means one block 12.0. 20, uh, we can uh, give 20, uh, 256 address, 12.1, we can give 256, 12.2, we can give, uh, okay, two, uh, sorry, 12.0, we can give 256, 13.0 block, we can 256, 14.0, 256, and 15.0, 256. These four blocks I will be total 1024 address we can take. That's why. The first address is 18.14.12.0 and last address is 18.14.15.255. Uh, you can also calculate by using the previous rules. Okay, by using the first address for uh, ending operation, you can calculate the first address and you can also calculate the last address by using the OR operation. Okay, is it clear or not? So if any ISP provider wanted to 100 address, so this, is, this will be his, uh, uh, information about his block. If he choose the block 18.14.12.0, you can choose another one, but you must follow these three rules. Okay. Is there any question? Okay. So classless addressing, I think uh, we can understand this one. So another issue uh, in classless addressing, uh, basically, uh, <clears throat> In classless, basically an organization or ISP provider that is granted an address. Suppose we have already uh, show the one uh, show the an ISP provider granted an address, but they want to divide the range into some uh, several sub ranges and assign a sub range to a sub network. That means they have taken a, a block. After that, they want to subdivide the network. That means they are uh, they want to for uh, for managing or other issue they want to now divide the network so in classless addressing how they divide the network this will be the issue so uh, basically for dividing if you want to subdating or if you want to design uh, a sub network you must follow the three rules okay so suppose the total number number of address granted to the organization is n n is the total number of address the prefix length is n it must be defined and assign number of address to a sub network is n sub the prefix length for a sub network is small n sub and the total number of sub network is s okay so this is the parameter we need to use so first issue is that the number of address in s sub network should be power of 2 so first uh, sorry the number of address in s sub network should be power of two the prefix length for a sub network should be found using the flowing formula what will be the prefix length n sub network equal to n plus log two capital n by n sub capital n n is the total number no, sorry total address n sub is the one sub network address total number of address in sub network so this this is the equation to calculate the prefix length this is that uh, this is the rules for number of address sub network should be power of two. This is one rule and another rule is this one. And the starting address in a sub network should be divisible by the number of address in the sub network. Starting address, we have already uh, seen the in, uh, address uh, block allocation. That starting address should be divisible by, uh, by the number of address in the sub network, should be di divisible. And this can be achieved if we first assign address to larger networks. So we need to careful about this. Uh, three rules. So if we want to see, this is called basically the address aggregation. This is one, one of the architecture of CIDR architecture. Uh, one of the advantages of CIDR architecture is address aggregation. That means address aggregation, you need to com uh, combine or you can subdivide. That means ICNN assigns a large block of address to an ISP and SISP in turn divided, divides this assigned to block into smaller sub blocks and grants the sub block to its customer. And many blocks of address are aggregated in one block granted to one ISP. Suppose 
a isp has granted a slash 24 network sub network then he can divide that the divide that the networking initially two is two just slash 20 then uh, it's the sub network subnet mask would be slash 25 25 then he can subdivide the left side 25 into two network then 26 can be subdivided by another two net so this would be this way the n slash n will be changed okay so now we will see a example about this a big example so is there any issue okay <clears throat> suppose btcl bangladesh telecommunication company limited is granted a block of address starting with 190.100.0.0 slash 60 so how many total address we can uh, we can give by uh, from this address block since slash 16 is the n notation to 2 to the power 32 minus n that means 65000 uh, 2 to the power 16 would be the host address that means uh, n is uh, 16 is the suffix and total number of address should be 2 to the power 32 minus n that means 65000 536 host can be connected uh, in this btcl network uh, sorry in this block okay but then the isp provider wants to distribute this address to three group of customers so one group dhaka group has 64 customers but there is a condition that a 64 customer that means 64 small isp provider needs approximately 256 address okay and another Borishal group has 180, 128 customers and S needs approximately 128 address. And another group, Kulna group, has 128 customer, but S needs approximately 64 address. So we need to design the sub blocks and find out how many address are still available after this allocation. So this is the, a big problem. Do you understand this problem or not? There is a two sub network. Initially, we need to divide the this block into uh, Dhaka, Kulna, Dhaka, Borishal, Kulna, three sub networks. And after that, we need to divide, uh, sorry, uh, six, and they have 64 customers, 128 customers, and uh, 128 customers. And after that, 64 need to, 64 customers need, S needs, one, uh, S one customer needs 256 address. That means one block needs 256 address. So this is the problem. Do you understand this problem or not? Okay. So now, so let us solve the problem in two steps. First step, we allocate sub block of address to S group. The total number of address allocated to S group and the prefix length for S sub block can be found as for group one, total address 64 customer and S customer need 256 address so total uh, address need for dhaka groups 16384 then what will be this group 1 network address okay so subnet address sub network address so n1 equal to 16 plus log 2 capital n divided by n sub that means group 1 n sub is 16384 and total address is 65,536. Then N1 will be 80. Okay. And group two, similar way, 128 into 128. So N2 equal to 16 plus log 2 push uh, 65,536 and divided by a uh, total address 16,384. Then N equal to 18. And in this way, group three, N, N3 equal to 19. Is it clear or not? Orpita, is there any issue? Okay, so not yet, sir. Okay, so figure one shows that. Okay, now we will see the. So this is the uh, just out uh, block diagram. Basically, our starting address one ninety two dot one thousand dot zero dot zero. We can calculate it, and the last address in this block one ninety dot one thousand dot two five five dot two five five by using this previous uh, step. Okay, so. This is overall ISP provider. They now divided this network into 180, 0.0, .0 and one block 
every block has 256. So in that case, that means the starting address one hundred dot zero dot zero, and the group one. So total address zero to sixty four block because is zero zero block has two fifty six address. In that case, so one ninety dot one hundred dot zero dot zero. This zero will be changed zero to two fifty four five. So total this block has two fifty six address. In this way, total sixty four customer. So this is the last customer address. Okay, this is the last customer. And last customer, last address. Okay, and uh, okay, and for second second customer, basically second uh, second group, one ninety one hundred sixty four. That means sixty four, uh, sixty three are completed. Then sixty four dot zero to one twenty seven. So why one twenty seven? Because is group need. Uh, okay, is group. So total group is one twenty eight. And age group uh, can give 120 address. Okay, so for from this 64.0 block, we can give two customer. That's why 64.0 to then uh, one customer will be finished 64. Uh, 127, then 120, 127, and another one 128 to 255. In this way, we can calculate this slash 18 notation for uh, group two. And third one, starting from 127 already finished, already booked for group two. And then third one, 190.100.128.0 will be start. And last address 128 and into 64. So this is also for uh, uh, total. Uh, uh, so 128 will be one block. So 122, uh, I think uh, 120 starting from 128 and finish will be 255. So in this way, we can uh, give 128 customer and S customer has 64 address. So this is the one step of sub network. Okay, now every group, because every, this customer need to divide, uh, actually the problem uh, problem was that the S needs approximately 256 address. So we are now here, we just divide the total block into just three network for group one group two group three okay and next we need to divide this one so for group one that means already we have taken for this group one n equal to 80 okay so what will be the customer one subnet address that means n equal to 18 plus log two total address in this group 16385 and total uh, sub network address uh, in this uh, one customer address total one customer address 256 that means subnet would be n equal to 24 so that's why 190.100.0.0 is starting address network address slash 24 first at customer address uh, usable address 0 0.1 and last usable address 0 0.254 255 and last address is the cost for customer can use 0 0.12 0 0.254 and last customer address is uh, 63.1 and uh, 63.254. This would be the customer 64 number block, uh, 64 uh, four number uh, the customer total address is. Two. So in this way, we can calculate the n equal to 18. For group two, we can calculate and for group three, we can calculate this one. So is it clear or not? Is there any issue? Is there any issue, Faisal? No issue created yet. I think you can go forward and uh, uh, discuss about uh, IP version 6 because we have a limited I've time. Already. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is the basically classless addressing and some issue. So now I am going to some notes about uh, uh, some special address uh, from this classless and also the classful address uh, here. Uh, the two, two, 2 to the power 32 total address space. Uh, uh, if all bit is 0, that means block 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, slash 32, all 0 address. So this uh, this is the called the limited broadcast address. So so to, uh, total address is 4 billion, 4 billion. So among the 4 billion, 
this block will be used for uh, thus limited broadcast address. We need to, uh, we could not give you the custom uh, for any host or any customer. Another one is all one address that is called the limited broadcast address. So this block 255.255.255.255 slash 32, this is all one address. And this is the basically the uh, limited broadcast address. So uh, so this, uh, you could not use this one for uh, the uh, customer address. And another block uh, among the 32 bit, another block uh, 127.0.0 is basically the loopback address. Basically it is used for loopback address, which is an address used to test the software and a machine. That means your local host. That means you, if you want to ping your PC 127.0.0.1, then you can reply from this PC. Since, since you don't have configured your uh, network interface card to uh, this address, but you can see the uh, ping, uh, ping reply. That means uh, this is used for basically the uh, test the software on a machine for for testing the your uh, your machine. So these three blocks also used for special purpose. That's why I call the special purpose address. And basically this is the destination address and packets. Just uh, he can ping himself or he can test himself. And for unicast, multicast and broadcast, someone last class, uh, 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 someone asked me, basically unicast transmission, basically from host as uh, 172.16.4.1 to 172.16.4.253 directly uh, just source and destination. Basically, the process of sending a packet from one host to individual host. This is called unicast transmission. So this IP is basically unicast transmission. So previously we have seen that broadcast transmission. Broadcast transmission, the process of sending a packet from one host to the all host in the network. That means if you send from a packet from 16.4.1 uh, to this uh, network, then all PC will receive the packet. And router also receive the packet, but router discarded it. So this is basically 255.255.255 and do not forward to a limited broadcast. Router do not forward a limited broadcast information. And destination address for ATO, this basically 172.16.4.255, this is the last address of this block. And this will be used for direct broadcast ad address. We could not use this for host address. And another issue is multicast address. Basically, the process of sending a packet from one host to the selected group of hosts possible in different network. Basically here some address space in total address, 2 to the part 32, 224.002, This address sense will be used for multicast address. We could not use for uh, any real IP or any other purposes. And here uh, and one address, uh, this uh, address sense will be used for link local address. That means routing information exchange by routing protocols. We need to use this address and globally scope address, basically this series, uh, basically uh, 0 0.1 dot has been reserved for the network time protocol. So these all are basically uh, a special purpose. Basically these are all special purpose address and previously slide I have already, all zeros, all ones are special purpose address. So this is that brief and another issue is that some add, some group of address we are using for local, uh, local LAN connection. Basically this is called the private address or local address uh, block 10.0.03 and 172.16.03 and 192.68.003, These four block we can use for local net connection. Okay, so if in your peer, our PS2 network we are using 10 block series. So we if uh, if you go to your personal PC uh, from or ICT cell or uh, any user ID or network, you can see that your IT, IP is basically this three. So our PS2 campus, whole campus is basically uh, using this private IP, but uh, real IP is another issue. And here for, uh, they have used the net, the network address translation for a real, a real IP to private IP linking. So this is another uh, issue. Uh, and for multicast, we have already discussed about it. And network address, we have already uh, know it, and the direct broadcast address, we have already discussed about it. And here is some note. <clears throat> Basically, if you are using the host portion, uh, this network, and also the uh, first address and also the last address, so what will be the host portion? 8 bits, 2 to the power 18. Basically, try slash n notation. So total host will be 256, but host portion all zero network address and host portion all broadcast address. 
So max, maximum host per network is 2 to the power 8 minus 2. 254 is basically the usable address. So this is all network 172 also the usable address. Uh, 2 to the power 16 minus 2. And all times this is the usable address and uh, host address and uh, broadcast address and network address. This is the some short note. So this is a, a small quiz. You can check it. Uh, uh, personal computer, one has IP address app, this one. So find the flowing network address. Just one, two minutes, you can, uh, can you calculate it? The maximum number of address in this host, how many maximum number of a uh, host? Can you check it and give me answer in chat box? This is classless address and 43.109.23.1.12 slash eight, then what will be the network address, maximum number of hosts in the network, network broadcast address, first usable address of the network, and last usable address of the network. Can you note down in the chat box? One type, it is correct. Mr. Kayat, you are correct. Okay, network address. Okay, then I think can all, uh, please try, try all. So what will we, have learned before uh, about from this discussion. So five, five things I want to know, network address, maximum number of posts in the network, network broadcast address, first usable address of the network and last usable address of the network. Okay, broadcast, then number of posts, network address. Okay. <clears throat> Only few of them have given this answer. Do you understand? All of you don't understand what I have discussed so far. Yes, 43.0.1, first usable address. Total host, 2 to the power 24 will be okay. No need to no, uh, write total. And 43.255, this is broadcast address. Network address, we have already find 43.0.0. So can you mess with me? So this will be the, uh, actually the solution. You can mess with your answer. Network address 43.0.0, maximum number of hosts 2 to the power 24. Network broadcast address 43.all bit one, first usual address, that means, uh, 43.0.0 is network address and first bit will be the usable address and last address will be 43.255.255.254. Is it clear or not? Do you have any confusion? Okay. So maybe so, it's clear, no problem. So far, no problem. So another quiz just, you can practice in your home. So this is another example, a quiz. PC4 has an IP address of this one and find the flowing address. So you can calculate by this one. I think hope, uh, uh, I think you have uh, already uh, calculated this all information uh, uh, from this uh, IP address. Is there any issue? Okay, I think I, I, I can, next slide. So this is the solution, you can match with your solution after uh, uh, we have uploaded this slide, you can practice this one. So now I think 509. Uh, so another issue, I want to just uh, a brief description that designing an IP address uh, plan, IP version four, this is a campus network and we have uh, these networking components, number of device in this, uh, in our campus, border router to core router to, server address, server network 23, science building, arts building, this way, all information we need. So this is our basic information of a campus network. So if university has uh, taken the block of IP address 172.16.0.0 slash 16 4. This, this is IP version 4 block. Here N is six, uh, uh, 16. So how many address we can, uh, we will, uh, we can connect 2 to the power 16. Okay, right, uh, 65,005. 536 uh, devices we can connect. So this is our the basic issue, basic uh, requirement of a campus network. So now just uh, previous table, 
we just added an added a ip version for subnet size how can we understand that what will be the subnet size based on the devices is it clear or not border router to core router total number of devices how many two so in that case two to the power two slash 30 will be okay because slash 30 means 30 30 bit will be one just last two bit will be same so from last two bit how many address space we can uh, we will get two to the power two that means four because uh, from four we can use two address so four minus two to the power four minus sorry two to the power two minus two because one address will be network address and another will be uh, address will be broadcast address so that's why we can use slash 30 is it clear or not do you have any confusion is there any confusion so in this way server network 23 so how many because uh, previously i have uh, uh, some restriction that i have already discussed about some rules that if you must take power of two if you want to take uh, give any block you it must be power of two so you could not uh, connect 23 address so in this you, you need to take 24 address okay so for 24 how many uh, slash notation what will be the slash notation basically slash 27 because 27 me slash 27 means net net id 27 and host id uh, of 5 bits 32 minus 27 okay so in that case 32 minus 27 that means 5 bits 2 to the power 5 means how much 2 to the power 5 means 32 so we need to take 32 address if we want to connect 23 address so in this way slash 25 we need to take uh, considered 128 so that's why we have used slash 25 for 52 we need we need to take 64 that means slash 26 so slash 26 means uh, network id 26 bit host id 6 bit that means 2 to the power 6 that means uh, 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 64 64 so that's why we have taken slash 20, 26 in this way we have taken 24 20, uh, slash 25 slash 26 and 25 and we have also taken slash 23 because this would be 350 and we could not uh if we use slash 24 then then we can connect only 256 devices but since 350 devices we need to connect that's why we need to uh two to the power uh nine that means two to the power nine bit we need to uh take for uh suffix by our host id that's why we have taken slash 23 is it clear or not i think uh, okay i think uh, they are participate not yet shared the uh, 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 assessment form is, uh, is still we will share after the session okay so this is the important thing so number of devices and ip version for uh, subnet size so in this way we have taken this subnet so it it is uh, basically an important issue so in then how can we assign the ip address so from this number of device uh, from this subnet size basically we need to assign the which is large number of network we need to assign path okay so since the, our block is 172.16.0.0 this is our block so this is just a small size so two so 172.16.0.0 slash 30 we can use this block for this network because we, we need only four number of address for connecting these two devices and we also 0, .0 we can also 1.0 for 200 which this is more than larger and then 2.0 2, uh, 2 after that uh, uh, 4.0 then 5.0 this way we have taken this ip address allocation you need to uh, uh, analysis this why this uh, ip address why this taken what will be the uh, uh, basic uh, uh, background of uh, to take this series so you need to explore this if you have any uh, uh, issue you can email us uh, we will give you the answer okay so we will give you the slide later then you can uh, just uh, analyze explore this allocation why this allocation has given to s of the network okay so this is the just some basic concept of designing ip ipad ip address plan ip version 4 so you need to carefully about this 
allocation. After that, you can uh, planning your IP address in packet tracer, then you can understand uh, the you can do a simulation. After that, you can implement in Kidikalo. Okay. Now, so, so far I have discussed, uh, just finished the IP version 4 addressing. Now I want to give some IP version 6 addressing in uh, just brief, uh, because in uh, currently in Bangladesh, only a few, uh, uh, only Google and some others uh, office using uses this IP version 6, uh, sorry, IP version 6. So most, uh, since we will do the workshop based on IP version 4, that's why I have emphasis mostly on IP version 4. So now I uh, we want to know about the little about the IP version 6 addressing and some issues. So basically, uh, why not IP version 5 after the IP version 4? Basically, internet protocol, steam protocol was developed in 1970, but never actually introduced for public use. So it was never uh, called IP version 4, but it is uh, used a value of 5 in the version field in the IP, IP header in the internet steam protocol uh, so but they they never called the ip version 4 but when the successor to ip version 4 was being uh, developed it was named ip version 6 basically not ip version 4 this is one issue why not ip version 5 after the ip version 4 uh, for ip version 6 we need to uh, know about the hexadecimal notation because ip version 4 was basically the dotted decimal notation but ip version 6 totally depends on hexadecimal notation. So that's why binary 0, 01 based, this is, you know, uh, all about and decimal, but hexadecimal 0 to 15, we can, uh, for 0, we can take binary 4 bit and hexadecimal 0 for 1 to 9, it's okay. Uh, 1 to 7, 8, 9, okay. But for A, 1, 0, 0, but hexadecimal uh, 10 decimal considered as A and 15 considered as S. So we need to, Remember it about the IP version six uh, uh, I, I, uh, IP version six IP address. So uh, uh, basically, why IP version six? There are some uh, uh, issue about the IP version six. Basically, IP version six is designed to the successor of IP version four, and depletion of IP version address system has been the motivating factor for moving to IP version six because IP version four is four already running out, and some of the uh, uh, regional uh, internet uh, registry, that means APNIC and others uh, already run out their uh, IPv4 range. That's why I uh, introduced the IPv6. Uh, uh, they have already known the uh, 5 RIR, regional internet uh, registry, will run out of IPv4 between 215 and 220, already run out. And IPv4 theoretical maximum 4.3 billion address plus private address because IPv6 is the 120 bit address. So we can uh, make uh, about two to the power 128 total address space. So about 340 undistillion address, not just IP version 4 was 4 billion. So this is one issue. And IP version 6 uh, fixes the limitation of IP version 4. Some limitation was there. And also includes additional enhancements such as ICMP version 6, Internet Control Message Protocol version 6. They have also introduced there is some uh, advantage about using the ICM, ICMP version 6. So there are this, uh, those, uh, basically IP version uh, 4 has some issue, VLS name, variable uh, length uh, uh, issue, and also IP address and also the net yeah, it, uh, used for short term solution. But after that, they have introduced the IP version 6, which is about the 2 to the power 1.8 address can be on add uh, one two to the power 128 host can be connected but there is some a specific uh, address group for a specific user so this is the some basic also some basic yana internet assigned uh, numbers of authority they have already run out and 220 lacnic and arin all already run, uh, run out from the ip version 4 that's why they have uh, introduced the ip version 6 already so IP version 6, you can see 2 to the, I have already told 2 to the power 120 bits. So we can, uh, you can see the what the number. This is the basically IP version 4 host we can connect. Okay. On the other hand, this is the IP version 6 total address. And IP version 6 
if we want to convert from binary, this will be the total 128 bits. So, so if we want to convert this decimal notation, this is the decimal notation, but it's really uh, difficult to remember it like IP version 4. That's why uh, research has, uh, has introduced the IP version 6 with this way. So, so here 4 bit, that means 2001, 2 means 4 bit, 0 means 4 bit, 0 means 4 bit, 1 means 4 bit. So here 4 hexadecimal number represented by 16 bits. This way total 8 hex, hex deck, this is called hex deck, 8, 8 into 16. That means 128 and slash 24, 64 notation. We'll know the notation later. So this is the, uh, so this will, this is very difficult to remember it. Uh, this as uh, uh, six, uh, that means uh, the total address is difficult to remember it, but Risa, uh, they have introduced some uh, shortening technique. How can we shortening? That means leading zero, we can remove. If you have IP address as leading zero, we can remove it. Then the IP address would be this way. And consecutive quarters all of zero can be replaced. That means if all zero, then router can understand G if we convert shorted to this way. That means we can convert this three, uh, four, uh, four hex tech to just double clone. We can combine it. After that, this address would be 2001 clone DB8 double clone 80 uh, clone 34 BD. So we can just uh, shortening this way and contributive quarters of zeros can be, can only be activated in once in IP version 6 address, you can see that. So this can one be one, one, uh, only one, you can use only one, one time to uh, shortening this because here also another group, but you could not only one time you can use this uh, consecutive quarter of all zero to just double uh, double clone. So this is the issue. So you can write this way. So this uh, this address can be converted to 2001 double clone 20 a1 just zero G clone zero clone three four b so Arpita, is there any issue no sir okay sir. So, sir, problem yes so full ip version 6 address this all the full ip version 6 address and this is shortened ip ip version 6 address you can use previous previous rules in your home and take it is uh you can do it or not so you can uh Check in your home. Uh, this is also the expanding. You can you need to also expanding. So if this full IP IP version six address then shortened, you can you can also by using the previous tool by reversing you can also from short to expanding this IP address by using this uh, from, by see this uh, from this IP address you can also expanding it and similar way. Okay. And finding the IP version prefix. Uh, a net ID or host ID. Uh, basically, it is fixed. Typically, an enterprise are requesting IP version six address from their ISP will receive slash forty eight block uh, because uh, typically IP version six subnet use sixty four prefix length. This is sixty four bit. Uh, sixty four bit is used for prefix length. Forty eight bit it fixed for global routing prefix assigned by the ISP, and rest of the sixteen will be used for subnet identifier used by the interface to make various subnets. So this is the, if this is the full IP address, if uh, uh, one IP address uh, from a ISP provider slash 64, then you can convert it by, uh, you can write it this way. And finally that question, six prefix. So if slash 56, that means which would be your uh, uh, prefix, uh, that means uh, prefix. Okay, slash 56, that means this is 16, 60, 16 bit, 16 bit, uh, 32 bit, total 48 bit, then uh, two bit, uh, two means four bit of uh, 52, then two means, uh, another two means 56. That's why your prefix length will be this four bit plus F200 I have removed, we have removed, B34 we have removed, then 21, after that 00. 21 zero, zero, clone clone, uh, clone clone 56 so we can shorten it and this will be basically the your prefix id that means net id 
okay do you understand or not i am not sure so based on slash 56 you need to convert this uh, uh, from this 64 bit you need to fix which one is is your prefix length which would be your prefix length so you need to study it and another one is if slash 93 then you can check 80 after that 0 82 1 for 82 88 then 92 then you need to seven b need to basically the hexadecimal number that means if i con convert to decimal then 11 so i need to convert it again the binary 0 b that means 1 0 1 1 so i need to take it one okay so so one triple zero that means zero db that means zero x so they are the net id our prefix length will be one seven eight after that clone so this is means slash 93 you need to explore it i just read because time is very short uh, this is the basic ip version r6 configuration in cisco router just like as previously i we can configure it ip version 6 unica starting all are unica starting will show and interface we can call it and uh, then ip version 6 uh, 6 then address then uh, we can uh, write the uh, network uh, that means the uh, ip address ip version 6 address then we can up the router interface okay this is the, the basic configuration basically ip version 6 address type uh, three types unicast multicast and anycast so unicast means one to one multicast means uh, some uh, reduced and anycast means any type of cast but ip version 6 does not have broad strategy previously we have uh, see that we have seen that ip version 4 has a uh, last address is the broadcast address but here no broadcast address so this is basically the ip version 6 unicast address uh, just one to one configuration uh, this ip version unicast address has different kinds global link local loopback unified uh, unspecified unilocal and embedded ip version 4 and uh, ip version 6 has multicast address also have the prefix this address is fixed for multi multicast address so that's the end of this uh webinar uh ip version 4 and thus now i have finished ip version 6 uh orpita is there any sir uh, someone has some uh, prayer issue so they want to uh, start the assignment uh okay i think uh, okay, we, uh, you can send you, the assignment. thank you sir thank you sir uh, actually uh, ip version 4 and ip version 6 this is huge topics courses uh we combined both uh, topics within one webinar course i think all of the participants should uh watch this video and uh, lecture tutorial in later and uh, i think uh, they will get gather the knowledge regarding these uh, materials uh i would like to request uh, mr faisal to share the assessment link because pair time uh, will be very near uh, for this region, uh, shared, okay, shared, okay. Uh, sir, we are already shared this. Okay, thank you. If any issues comes from participants, then we can discuss it.